after a four-point weekend against Notre Dame, the Wisconsin Badgers, a game and a half behind Minnesota for the Big Ten lead, and this weekend wrap up their home schedule against Ohio State. We'll talk with head coach Tony Granato about that here in just a moment. I'm Brian Posick, and this is the Badger Hockey Digest. It's back, the return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Director's Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with L Director's Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first place trophy in June for their season long success. Learfield IMG College Director's Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. But, Tony, you know, uh, the Big Ten's a pretty tough league. And, you know, I know you're on home ice, but to get four points out of six uh, against a conference foe, I think you'd probably take that every weekend, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I, you know, I think at the end of the Saturday game, everyone felt a little deflated because we, we had that one up 3-1 in the third. And, and we played so well in the second period, everything just seemed to be under control. Like we were going to go out in the third and kind of cruise on to victory. And, and uh, Notre Dame was a team that, is fighting for their lives just to try to get, you know, momentum heading into the playoffs and try to get a tournament bid. And uh, when we made a mistake, they turned it and, and shoved it in our net. So I think it was a good learning lesson for us. The, the few, there were lots of positives in the weekend. I mean, lots of them. And the, the coming back after they, you know, got the goals to tie it for us to bounce back and get the lead, then they take the lead again and for us to tie it up late. Uh, were, were two things that really stand out to me was the fight that we had, even though things weren't going well, we didn't stop. And then the other thing was that big kill in the, in the overtime, you know, they had a four on three for the two minutes in overtime. Our penalty killers got the job done. Cam made some big save during that, that little skirmish there. But for the most part, you know, our team's been really, really good since we got back from Christmas and there's uh, lots of momentum as we had, you know, down the stretch, there's only four games to go to playoffs and we should be feeling really good about ourselves. And we also should be continuing to learn from, from the games that we played. And I think, you know, if you go back on it, uh, in the Michigan game, there were some things we made mistakes. We cleared them up the next day. We came back in, in the second game of the Michigan series, and we, we played really sound fundamental hockey and got a, a real big road win. And then, you know, the, the lessons from last game is that, you know, teams at this point of the season, they're fighting for their season. And if you, if you let your foot off the gas a little bit or you try to do something a little bit different to, uh, you know, uh, out, of, out, of, out of rogue, so to speak, on how we play, you know, you're jeopardizing giving up that lead. So it's a good lesson as we head to playoffs and, and you get in these elimination games and playoffs in the tournament that, that, you know, we'll have to be ready for. And the Badgers are 10-3-1 and one since the Christmas break. Ohio State's in town uh, this weekend. Uh, you know, not only some team positives you can take away from the Notre Dame series, but some individuals as well. Minus Weisbach had three goals over the weekend and uh, scored his 100th career point on the go-ahead goal on Friday that was set up by a beautiful behind-the-pack pass. Ty pelton Vice is averaging more than a point per game. He's played 17 games, nine goals, 22 points this season, averaging almost a point per game in his UW career in the past uh, almost two years now but what makes type helton by so good he's a he's a brilliant hockey player i think he he uses his line mates extremely well he knows the strengths of cole and, and linus uh, and those three together have had chemistry since they've been put together as a line so uh, but but Bicer is one of those kind of guys that's under the radar because you got the big names in holloway and caulfield on our team and then you throw weiss back in there and a few other guys you know Bicer kind of gets overlooked probably by you know uh, teams that come in to play us or even, uh, you know, potentially fans. And, and really he's been sensational since he's gotten back to our program. Um, and, you know, he makes big play every time that the game's on the line, you put him on the ice and he's, he finds a way to make the big play and including that game tying goal, you know, and then, you know, the, the, the game, <laughs> they tie the game and we go back a couple shifts later and he makes the play to line us. It's just been, you know, shift after shift when we need him, he makes the big play. So, so uh, he's having a great year. Uh, he's going to continue to get better for us. I think he's continuing to gain confidence. Um, you know, each and every weekend, he, he, you know, I think he's deciding he wants to shoot the puck more now because he's realizing that he can be the goal scorer as part of those three, trio too. So, so that's been exciting as well. 
Uh, Tony, you've got Ohio State this weekend. Here's a club, you know, that's been so good for so many years under Steve Rollick and uh, and uh, Steve Miller and uh, J.B. Bittner, former Badgers assistant coach. Uh, they're kind of in rebuilding mode right now. Uh, you know, they're, they're they've been struggling mightily of late. Although they split with Michigan last weekend, and they've got a goaltender in Tommy Napier, while his numbers are down, can win a game, any game, at any time, can't he? Yeah, he's beaten us in the past few years. He's beaten us on multiple times where you feel like you, you know, you deserve a better result, and you look at the end of the game, you say, well, that goalie made too many big saves for us to to get the victory. So, they're they're a big physical team. Uh, you know, they're the same thing as the last couple teams you play. They're they're trying to get their season going. They know heading into the playoffs if they're playing well. And you win a Big Ted tournament, you're gonna you'll get an NCAA bid. So I think, uh, you know, it's the same mentality for us. Is you can't look at your opponent and think you're gonna walk over anybody. And and in our conference, uh, you know, the competitiveness of you know even the little bit of rivalry that we've had, you know, even from playing them last year in the playoffs, there's still some some intensity that carries over from series to series against each and every every uh, team in our league. So so I think. You know, this this weekend for us is important just to get back to respecting our opponent, uh, knowing that if you if you take them lightly, you're going to be in trouble. And then the other thing is, there's only four games left till playoffs, so we want to make sure you know we're sharp. We want to make sure that what happened against Notre Dame in the second game of of maybe getting away from our game from a little bit, what happened to us of of giving them opportunities. Uh, we got to get back on track to to stay focused for sixty and and play our game and. And our team's been good at learning lessons this year. If, if something's happened in a game or a weekend, you know, we get back to work at the next practice and t- carry it over into the next game. And that'll be something we're, we're looking forward to doing this week as far as the challenge of, of keeping ourselves at the top of our game. And, you know, like you said, since Christmas, our record's been good. And our record's been good for a reason. We've, we've played well. Our goaltenders have been good. Our special teams have been really solid. And we're getting contributions from, you know, everybody in our lineup. So the Wisconsin Badgers wrap up their home schedule Friday night against Ohio State at 7 o'clock and then 4 o'clock Saturday against the Buckeyes. Both games on the Badgers Sports Network and both games on Fox Sports Wisconsin. For Jay Williams, Paul Capobianco, and head coach Tony Granato, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.